guys, happy Tuesday. So today I wanted to talk about something that, you know, I think we've all kind of been there where you just feel like everything is just not really going your way, you're just kind of stuck, you don't know what to do with life next. In the times that I've been in these situations and when I've gotten out, I started documenting how I got out of these situations. So here's how to get out of a rut. One thing that I started a while back that I'm really happy that I did is I started writing down daily what I'm thankful for. So that can range from thankful that I didn't trip down the stairs to I got a free drink at Starbucks. There's many apps that you can get that you can mark down each day what you're grateful for and it'll send you a reminder daily to write it down. And I think that's a really good way to just remind yourself, wow, things are not as awful as they seem. And it's really fun to look back, kind of like a diary to see what has happened the past couple months. Another fun thing to do is actually go out with your friends, be social. You can go see a movie, you can go to the mall, you can go hang out at Starbucks. Setting something up like going to see a movie or going to work out with friends will probably help you not back out of it later. If you have somebody that's depending on you, you're less likely to be like, mm, I'm gonna stay home and sulk some more. Having friends that are gonna encourage you to do stuff is really great. I know I've been in situations where I'm like, I'm gonna be social and I plan something with a friend and I'm like, oh, and then I go do it anyway because I'm not going to back out and be that lazy, lousy friend. And I'm so glad when I did it though because otherwise it would have been at home and it would be miserable. It's not fun. Read books, read articles, read things that are interesting. Reading has unfortunately been looked at as something that's not fun because school makes people do it so much. But when you read things that are actually interesting to you, like if you're into um, a sport, you could read more about that or you can read the latest articles about what's going on with the sports team. I don't know, football, basketball, whatever. You can read articles about beauty care, you know, how to do this kind of makeup or this kind of hairstyle or keep your nails looking nice, something like that. Just make sure they're happy articles. Like news articles or borderline, they'll be like, oh, puppy was saved, awesome. But then there's like the article next to it that's like, eh, no, that's kind of depressing. I don't really wanna, I don't wanna read into that. Running or working out in general at least every other day is such a great thing. Get those endorphins going, you feel better about yourself, you're healthier. I for one hate running with a burning passion. But every time I go run or just go lift weights or something, I feel so much better and just so much happier and so much more energized to do more stuff. Listen to upbeat and inspiring music. That doesn't mean the depressing breakup playlist, no lame. Listen to something fun that gets you excited about stuff. Take up a new hobby. Teach yourself guitar, learn how to change oil on your car, or don't, because I probably personally wouldn't. But go clean your car, do something for yourself. One of my favorite things, because I love organizing and keeping things clean, is going through my stuff that I haven't used and selling it or donating it to Salvation Army. Like there's so many things. You can go on an app and sell your clothes. You can donate it to somebody who needs it. There's so many different ways that you can declutter what you have and put it towards better use. So I hope some of these tips helped you guys. They really helped me when I wasn't feeling my best. So let me know in the comments what you do when you feel kind of eh about everything to get out of that mood. Okay, I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.